Hey there, uh, this is a hat sun umbrella that one can stick over their head while hiking. And it also is a real umbrella in that uh, it'll keep water off of you as well. I purchased this off of Amazon, and I'll put a link uh, below on the one I bought. But basically, this just goes over your head because it has a uh, harness here for your head. And you can attach it here. And it does pretty well. It's about 36 inches across. So it will cover your pack in the back as well. And it's actually quite comfortable to keep sun off of you in desert hiking or other sunny weather. But people ask, well, I would like to have an umbrella that I can use the shaft, a trekking pole as the shaft. So I have a trekking pole here, and I've actually modified this umbrella so that I can use it directly with a trekking pole. So I'll do that right now. So I'm back. And I have my uh, trekking pole here with this as the shaft holding up my umbrella. So this is a pretty easy modification. Uh, for most of you, it should take less than an hour to do. And I'll show you how to do that in a moment. What you'll need is, of course, the umbrella, the trekking pole, and a bolt that comes off of your toilet seat. That's it for now. Uh, I'll be back in the studio showing you how to make this modification. So here is the setup to make this modification here. My dog is part of the inspiration here because we're using his claw or nail grinder to dismantle this umbrella. So this umbrella from the manufacturer as d sent to you weighs 9.2 ounces. It comes, it's the seven panel, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It has an air gap here and it's meant to be used for fishing and in a boat or out in the sunshine. It's it's uh, silver. On the inside, it actually is, uh, this one is dark, okay? Uh, what you're gonna need is a trekking pole, of course, the snow basket for the trekking pole because this is gonna be bolted to the inside of the umbrella. You'll need a bolt to bolt it and this particular nylon bowl just happens to work and it comes from a toilet seat. And if you want to remove the head net or the head harness, it's okay. It's held on by rabbits. Shh. Come right here. There you go. He works for treats, as you know. Dog works for treats. Um, if you want to remove the head harness, it's held by seven rivets. There's seven spines that you have to mess with. And I remove those by grinding off the head of the rivet with this uh, fingernail filer grinder. And the dog, we use it on his, on his claws. So he doesn't like that, so he's not going to be around to <laughs> check that out. And I'm using the hacksaw to cut this bolt to be about an inch long. And I have here as well a um, socket wrench. Now, once I took the rivets out and removed the head harness, I wanted to put them back in, so I just used some safety pins to do that. So let's pause and do some close-ups here, but 
first I'll show you that uh, if you remove the head harness, the weight of this goes down to 7.1, uh, 7.2 ounces. So some of the things that I do are, I'm going to remove the cord that comes with this, and I'm going to remove the harness that comes with this. And let's do some close-ups now. You ready to do a close-up? Look what I got right here. Get it. It's in there. Get it. <laughs> you can't get it. There it is. All right. Good dog. Come right here. Sit. Oh, you're an old boy. You can't sit. All right. So I think we're going to be done with the dog here. He's uh, pretty old. Doesn't like working as a studio model. So I wanted to show you this one spine. It has a small rivet here going across and what I did is this is partially out but I used the grinder to grind off this side of the rivet the head off and then I could pull this out and the whole thing off uh, you can see it's no longer attached. And I did this for all seven of them. And I pulled that uh, rivet out. And I'm going to replace it with a safety pin. And as an example, uh, here is a safety pin holding in one of the uh, stays for the headrest. But I'm going to take all of these off in order to show you how to have this umbrella without the head harness. But if you want to, you can always put the head harness back in. I have removed the head harness and this gives you an idea of the final product. What it is is a snow basket bolted into the center part of the umbrella where all the seven stays come in. So I have cut the bolt to about one inch with a hacksaw and it's just going to feed in there. And my particular snow baskets, just this one, uh, have a hole here that the bolt easily fits through. So that's all there is to it. Uh, cut the, find the bolt, cut the bolt, and it's a nylon bolt and uh, thread it in there. I'll take this bolt off now and show you how uh, it just goes in pretty easily. The other thing I've done, of course, is I removed the cordage that went through there. So then the whole thing, the umbrella with all of the parts removed, weighs just over seven ounces, which is about the same weight as many of the other sun umbrellas that you can buy. Uh, this umbrella, by the way, if under $20. I think it was even under $15 when I got it. So let me set the camera down and remove that bolt, show you what it looks like. This bolt is not in here. Uh, the It's just an inch long. You can see that. Here it is. There's no modifications needed to this. This piece here made of plastic, probably also nylon. I looked around the house and I just found something that uh, fit in there. It, it turns out that this fits uh, nicely without needing to tap this and actually form threads. If you wanted to be more substantial, you could tap this to form threads. Uh, but that's the umbrella. The other thing I did here is on the top of the umbrella, I've already mentioned a couple of times, there's no need for this cord. It has a uh, snap here. It's all 
goes together anyway. And to put it back together, you just shove this in here till it clicks. There you go. In order to make this waterproof, I did use uh, the E6000 glue. It's like shoe goo made from the same company, but more viscous to seam seal all of these seven seams and around the top here. In addition, because there's a hole here in the top, I'm going to put a cap of a small shampoo bottle over the top. This is not that cap. This is the cap to the uh, toe nail grinder. The shampoo bottle will press fit on here and won't come off. So, to make the modification that I'm talking about, you take your bolt, you hacksaw it off, you thread the bolt into here, you can go by hand for a while. Once it's threaded in, it basically self-cuts its threads. You take the snow basket as like a washer. You screw this in. And uh, the reason why you have to cut it to about an inch is that uh, this plastic changes thickness down here and you can't really go further. You can tighten it up. Hand tight is probably fine. And then, of course, because your snow basket attaches to your trekking pole, you screw in your trekking pole. And basically, you now have a trekking pole as the shaft to your umbrella. Uh, folds up nice. It's uh, not ultra light, but it is uh, seven, about seven ounces there. In order to use the the head harness, you can just reattach it. Instead of using rivets, I've used um, safety pins. So it's your choice. I say that this harness with the metal bits will stick into your head. So you'll excuse me. You'll need a you'll need a hat or something to serve as padding. And maybe I'll have a future video on that. But so there you got it. Um, a $15 sun umbrella from Amazon can be used with a trekking pole or a head harness. Let me know in the comments below when you make one and how it works out for you. Thanks a bunch. So how much does this weigh with the modifications? The, on the scale here, it's uh, about 7.9 ounces with the snow basket and the bolt holding it together. So that's about the same weight as some of these more expensive sun umbrella options. And this is a pretty big umbrella. It's uh, three feet across easily. Say, well, how do you use this umbrella? Here it is, modified with the snow basket and the bolt holding it to the center post of the umbrella. I just take my trekking pole thread it into its own snow basket and now this bolt all I have to do is push it up so that it uh, the center post of the umbrella goes through this this uh, hole right here and clicks into place so uh, that is pretty easily done it's probably better to have done it before I put the trekking pole in, but uh, there it is. I'm all set.